Hey everybody, I'm Eric with Turbo Sound. Thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the input section on the IQ speaker here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the actual inputs on the IQ speaker are gonna be analog inputs, and these are combo jacks, so they'll accept either a quarter inch or an XLR cable. So if you're gonna be using the speaker via the alternate, you're gonna to need to get into the setup menu to set your inputs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Very easy to do, just come up here to the setup button, hit that, and it's your first selection right here on the left-hand side. It's uh, named input. So let's go ahead and take our encoder and push that in there. Now it's set to local, so the local inputs are gonna be your two combo jacks. But again, if you're using it with the alternate, just go ahead and hit the encoder in there, and you can turn it to the right, and you'll start uh, showing your P16 channel. So the alternate basically is a 16 channel bus uh, that you can send 16 channels of unprocessed audio down a single Cat5 cable right to this speaker. So all you need to do is just tell the speaker which channel you're gonna be running it from. So I've chosen P16-1, and you see if I, cho if I change it to the right here, you're increasing the channels. So let's just go ahead and keep it on one for right now. So let's go ahead and move down to the remote section here. Now it could be either on or off. With it on, is gonna allow me to actually change certain presets and speaker modeling within the DSP on board this speaker, straight from the comfort of my own console, which could be the M32 family of digital consoles or the X32 family of digital consoles. So another great reason for using the alternate is the fact that you can go out through the through port and go ahead and daisy chain other speakers that have the alternate equipped on them. Uh, so that's great for daisy chaining uh, monitors on stage or building your own three-way PA system. So there you have it, the input section on the IQ series. Hope you learned something on this video. I'm Eric with TurboSound. Thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. I'll see you next time.